Hello and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Nancy and this is our two-year-old Appaloosa miniature horse, Teddy. And we are out ground driving him today. And uh, today I'm not using blinkers. Sometimes I use blinkers, sometimes I don't. So he's used to doing it both ways. And earlier this week, we had him with his harness on and we decided to bring the cart up to him. And we set the shafts of the cart into the shaft holders of the harness so he could get used to feeling that. And this shows how we just slide. This is what I was talking about. Slide the shafts. They could go into about here. I'm gonna slide this forward just a little more. Okay, this shows how I practice with him. I have him just in his holder. My husband's standing by his head. And this, of course, is the driving cart. And as you can see, I have the shafts through these shaft holders. But I do not have I do not have any traces on them to attach to the cart. So he just gets used to the feel of having the cart, the shafts next to him. Hi, Teddy. But he's getting used to it. He's getting used to it. I'm just teaching him to stand quietly with it. And now we're going to slide it off. And so we decided to take him for a little walk. And we walk with Teddy. My husband, I had a halter on also besides the harness head stall and reins and my husband was walking next to Teddy. Walk up Teddy. My husband was walking next to, to Teddy with the halter and lead line in his in the lead line in his hand just to make sure he was okay. And the reason I did not attach the tugs or the traces to the cart itself was because this he is very new to this and should he get excited or panic a little bit I want to be able to just slip that cart off of him. Um, very easily. So that's why I did not have him actually attached to the cart, but the trace holders were holding the cart in place. So, and of course I'm walking behind my husband's by his head, but he did really, really well. And uh, here's a little, here's a little clip of what he did this earlier this week. And so far he's doing well. Of course, I'm not sitting in this cart. My husband is leading him by his halter. And I am just walking behind and he's getting used to what it feels like. Again, I do not have the shafts or I don't have the traces, excuse me. I don't have the traces connected to the spring tree. And that's in case he gets a little bit worked up. I can just slip the card if he was to get real worked up. When you get up a little closer, you're gonna turn slowly left Keith in a big wide circle towards the woods again. Walk up, Teddy. Good job. I'm going to stop him, Keith. Teddy, whoa, stand. Good boy, Teddy, walk. And I have to get, I have some homemade fry spray on him, which is working pretty well, but I want to get some little bit better fry, fly spray for him. And again, he's doing very well. Good job, Teddy. Good job, Teddy. And walk. What a good boy. Good boy, Teddy. Keith, when you get closer to the woods, we're gonna turn in a big circle again. But this time we're gonna do a, more of a circle and go back towards the tree line. So we're walking back towards the barn right next to the trees, okay? Come, Teddy. And of course, I'm steering from behind. Go more to the, more to the good, good job. Not too sharp, he's not used to that. Take him straighter. He's got to get used to what those shafts feel like on him, on his sides. Walk up, Teddy. Good boy. Walk up. Walk up. Good job. Good job, Teddy. Walk up. Good job. Walk up. That's it. Take him straight. Straight. Good job. And we're going to stop. Teddy, whoa. Stand. Teddy, walk. And I think he's doing really, really well. And I'll be practicing with him like this probably for about a good week. And eventually I'll attach the traces to the spring tree and also, of course, attach the breaching. But I won't be getting in the cart and sitting in it. Okay, do like a half turn, Keith. Do a wide turn and go towards the woods down the center of the field this time. Come, Teddy. Come, Teddy. What a good job. What a good boy, yes. 
Yes, and of course he has no blinkers on for this. I want him to understand that there is something behind him. I want him to know that. And I want him to understand that there is something behind him and it is not going to hurt him. But I also want him to be able to drive with blinkers. When all is said and done, I'll probably be driving mostly with blinkers. But again, I feel like because he's so young and this is his training, I want him to understand. Um, Keith, go slightly to the left. I want him to understand that there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, now turn a wide, wide turn to the... Well, never mind. You're going this way now anyway. Come, Teddy. Go back towards the... Uh... Walk up, Teddy. Keith, keep walking. Go back towards the woods or the side of the trees there. And this is very hard because I'm actually steering him and controlling him with one hand while I'm videotaping, recording with my other hand. So I don't have full two-handed um, control with the reins. Like I, I know how to rein with one hand, but it's hard with a green horse like this. But he's doing great. Keith, I'm going to stop again. Teddy, whoa. What a good job. And walk walk up. So I'll be doing this probably almost every day, not for long. I think we've done enough now. And uh, we'll be practicing and when he gets more comfortable, I'll start to, I'll, one day I'll attach the traces and then eventually I will attach the breaching and just get him used to this. Come on, Teddy, walk up. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Teddy is progressing. No, we're not going to do that. Every single time, I'm going to do mostly ground driving as I am right now, sometimes without the blinkers, as you see, and sometimes with the blinkers. And then a few times, maybe once or twice a week, we'll put the card on him and uh, get him used to what that feels like to be pulling something behind him. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you'd like to see how Teddy's progressed since we, very, the, we first started with him, which was very, very early this spring, like the end of winter, um, there is a playlist of those videos, all those videos, at the end of this video. And also, under my description, I'll leave a link. Hope you have a great week.